Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus and today we will be talking about network automation. Maybe not the automation that you're used to because most people they talk about deployment or maybe decommissioning. I will be talking about documentation. So it may be boring, but when you talk about network automation, you really need to think about what is the most time consuming? What is the things that we do the most? Or what is the thing that we want to do but don't have time for? And maybe it's because it's time consuming, maybe it's because it's boring. And if it's boring, no one wants to do it because network engineers are lazy. And that's a good thing. If you are lazy, you try to figure out a way to do it faster, easier and better. Because no one wants to do manually time consuming work that take ages and it's the same all the time. So I will be talking about documentation today. When you take over a network, more or less you get a list, uh, maybe an Excel spreadsheet. So you have your list and this includes a couple of fields. Maybe it's include host name and uh, IP, uh, maybe have the rack or the U, but more or less you never get how it's connected to anything. Maybe you get the serial number, but you don't get how it's connected. So we as an admin, we go into the first equipment and we start to draw. So when you have the list, you start to do a topology. And how you do the topology is that you go into equipment number one and then you run a few commands. So, so you do a few commands to figure out how the topology is. Like show CDP neighbors, show int description. And you have a few more of this. After a while, you have built a topology based on what you see. In this commands, you as a network engineer, you will find it out. But what is the issue with this? Well, First of all, you need to figure out what command you should run. There is a few. When you're starting to build a database, you really need to have a lot of data because when it comes to network optimization, you need correct predictable data. So when, when you have your, your list, you have your commands, you have built your topology, and this is placed where? Most likely in a visual drawing or maybe a PowerPoint. And what's the issue with that? Well, there is not a super big issue except one. And that it's, it's instant picture. You don't see the changes. If someone adds a switch or someone do a change, do you document it? Of course you would say yes. I always document everything, but honestly, no. We as network engineer, we don't document everything. There is a few reasons for it. First, it's time consuming. Secondly, maybe someone just add us to add something in panic, like a new VLAN, open a port for a server because a project manager has forgotten to order it. There's many reasons for it. I, so far, I have met very few customers that is willing to pay for documentation. So how can we do this better? If you have big networks with multiple sites, me, myself, I like to divide up the networks. So I have one production network and then I have one management network or out of band management. Maybe you have a fiber channel network. So. Within the same site, you have multiple topologies for 
multiple purposes. And if you're going to make network optimization, this list need to be bigger, need to be more accurate, need to contain more information, and you start to need a system. Because an Excel spreadsheet will not be able to have all the information that you actually need. So you need to build some sort of system or buy a system. There is many systems that can, can do this. Uh, for example, Cisco DNA or uh, NetMRI or yeah, some open sof software like uh, uh, Netbox, you can uh, start to build this topology. Hopefully this system then has an API and the API you can do optimization from. So if you do deployment and reading from the system with an API, then you get correct information to your deployment. But the issue I see is that there are changes made and people forget or don't add them in the documentation system. So what I try to do is that I try to automate all these commands that is run daily on all the switches, even if I have 300 or 15,000 of them. I want to run all these commands to check if there has been any changes and then parse the information so I can query it from my documentation system and have my documentation system updated automatically. So if someone logs in and changes the description on the port, I will see it because I do show interface description. I will have that in a database that I can query from my documentation system and either push it to my documentation system or fetch it from the system. And this way, even if someone is doing manually work in the topology, in the network, my system will find a change and it will update the documentation without anyone needing to do it. The more commands you run and the more your data is organized, so if you have different uh, uh, groups, you have uh, for example, you have device group, you have prefix, you have VLAN groups, and then you combine them together. You can build quite cool data. And this data can be used for deploying new things, or it can be used for finding things. And it's a lot easier to operate it, to see patterns, to see mistakes, to see, yeah, more or less to see how the network feels and work. So my recommendation for all your network guys, automate boring things. And the most boring is documentation. So try to figure out how you should automate your documentation. If you like this video, please thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and comment below if you want to see anything else. If you'd like me to show you how we have done our documentation, uh, please feel to comment below and uh, I will uh, see if someone is interested. See you in the next video. Bye.